Tonight, concerns surround the Johnson County Long-Term Flood Recovery Fund. During the past couple of days, several flood victims reached out to us with questions, so we decided to go searching for answers. WYMT's Tanner Hesterberg joins us live to tell us what he learned. Tanner? Well, that's right, Angela. You know, a lot of people affected by the flooding, including many right here in the Flat Gap community, are wondering why they haven't received any of the money that's been raised through donations, through fundraisers. So I pose that question to the treasurer of the Johnson County Long-Term Recovery Committee. About $160,000 comprises the Johnson County Long-Term Recovery Fund. Treasurer Mike Howell says that money will be used to help flood victims rebuild their lives after FEMA and insurance companies provide what assistance they can. FEMA funds will not be available until the president signs a federal disaster declaration. I was asked, uh, well, why don't you all just split that money up and give that equally to uh, each family? Well, that'd be the easy way to do it, but is that going to give them the most help that we can give them? I don't think so. I think the best way we can help these folks is do what we are doing. Howell says the long-term recovery committee has already used some money to pay rent for folks who lost their homes and needed a temporary place to stay. And at this point, local officials are not quite sure how long it may take the president to declare this area a federal disaster area. And we also learned just moments ago that the Kentucky Energy and Environment Cabinet has announced a series of grants that will help flood ravaged counties like Johnson County pay for cleanup of solid waste as a result of flooding. We'll have much more on that coming up tonight on Mountain News at 11. But for now, live in Johnson County, Tanner Hesterberg, WYMT Mountain News.